As the first female in many respects, magistrate in the Northern Region, judge in the Kanu High Court, justice of the Court of Appeal, and justice of the Supreme Court, 68-year-old Justice Mukhtar now has the platform to excel like her predecessors beginning from Adetokumbo Ademola between 1958 and 1972. She is set to accomplish her promises on judicial reforms as she said to the Senate last Wednesday, especially worries on alleged corruption among some judges. You don't just place it at the doorstep of the judges. It's not just them to blame. When the time comes, you'll see. You will see what it is that, I, that I'm bringing on board. Well, again, I will go back to what I said uh, in the Senate, that I will lead by example and hope and pray that the others will follow. She also responded to concerns about delays in trials. That, that one is not just the fault of uh, the judges alone. You have counsel to contend with, with various applications, and then you have the prosecution also to contend with. They will not come with accused persons in time. Witnesses will not be available. And there's a whole litany of reasons for this delay. The Chief Justice stood her ground on no special courts for corruption. Why? A judge, two, three in a state can be designated to take care of that. Immediate past Chief Justice Dahiru Mustafa also spoke in that direction and how his successor goes about the job. Well, we have agreed, we have worked together for the reforms in the judiciary and we work together. So everything is with her now to continue from where I left off. Specifically, sir? Everything to make sure judiciary answers all the problems, all the needs and the aspirations of the people of Nigeria. Former Supreme Court Justice Modibo Alpha Begore recalls advising Justice Mukta to read law. When I first knew her, I was just finishing as a student in London. Originally, she didn't want to study law. She was afraid of it. And I'm one of those that persuaded her to study law. And she's done very well. I'm very proud of her. In the State House, I'm Ima Okundo, NT News.